from drought matters to to IEBC matters now let's uh, now pass out Literally, the air has been a, a pass out and uh, Nancy Okwari has been a keep, keeping a keen eye on that and now joins us to tell us more in regards to the auspicious occasion. Okwari? <coughs> A uh, very good afternoon to you, Ben Troinjue. We are coming to you live from the Administration Police Training College right here in Embakasi in Nairobi County, uh, where the pass out parade of the National Government Administrative Officers has just come to a close like uh, 30 minutes ago. It is an exercise that was presided over by the Interior Cabinet Secretary, uh, Professor Kithure Kindiki, and it was also attended by other officials in the National Security. Uh, the, to do with security, that is including the Inspector General of Police, uh, Jafet Kome. Now, the, uh, the officers that have actually graduated today have been urged to go out there and act as the link between the national government and the people at the grassroots level by ensuring that these people continue uh, getting the services that are required and they have been cautioned against engaging in activities that are not within their jurisdiction uh, such as include uh, engaging themselves in matters politics uh, the in its power to ensure that uh, they are given the whatever support they need so as to uh, continue you know uh, developing government policies across the grassroots level including engaging in activities such as tree planting that has been uh, government has been talking about planting trees as one of the ways to fight climate change. They have also been told to sensitize members of the public on the various policies that are affecting the, the populace. Uh, they has also talked about the security situation in the country and uh, that includes the plans to arm the chiefs and the areas that have been battling matters in security, such as Baringo. Uh, so the, the CS has said that in beginning immediately, the government will be conducting a vetting exercise uh, for all the chiefs and their assistants just to assess their suitability to be armed. And once they are armed, they are going to the police officer and also the NPR so as to improve the security situation in the country. He has also talked about the need to the of the various chiefs and one of the policy statements that...